It is Son Calvani, Mario Gutsen, Melanxar, Xavi Simons and who else can be joined as a new player in FIFA 21's Ultimate Team. I'm your boy Viva La FIFA, incredible that you're all watching and I will tell you everything about it in this video. Are you looking for the best, cheapest and most reliable place to get your FUD21 coins? Go to away.com and use the code VIVA for an extra 5% off your order and start building your own dream team. I will present to you 15 players that didn't get a spot for several reasons in FUD21. The reason could be they didn't have a club when Ultimate Team was released and FIFA 21 hits the shelves. Some of them were just not mentioned and forgotten about. So 15 incredible players we want to see back in the game and tell me your personal favorite down in the comment section below. Give a thumbs up if you enjoy it, subscribe to the channel for more and put on the notification bell. The first one is Malong Sar, the center back that joined Chelsea on a free deal from OGC Nice is a huge talent in the FIFA career mode, but somehow EA missed the deal. They missed and forgot about the player. Malongsar is now playing, by the way, for FC Porto on a loan deal, but how cool would it be if the youngster will be added with a one-to-watch card? For Chelsea, for Porto, we don't care because the youngster of France only needs one inform card in team after week to get a gigantic upgrade to 81 with good overpowered stats that makes him feel like a new sweaty player. So Chelsea fans, Porto fans, French football fans, smash that like button in the face to get Malang Sar in the game. If you don't have the heart and soul to be a goalkeeper, you shouldn't be a goalkeeper and Joe Hart has the name, has the heart, but the man is not the quality he was back in the day playing for Manchester City and the English national team. Somewhere along the road he lost his skills, he lost his confidence and now he is only a backup, backup goalkeeper behind Ugolo Riz. and also the second goalkeeper is way better. Gazzani is the number two and Joe Hart is staying the number three for the rest of the season. So he's actually only a paper player for Tottenham Hotspur. Will we actually see him on the pitch? I'm afraid the answer is no, but the man is still a good goalkeeper, had a lot of games for the English national team, so he deserves to get a FUD card. In FIFA 19, Maximilian Philippe got a road to the final card when he was playing for Borussia Dortmund. His start at Dortmund was incredible. He picked up five goals in his first three games. After that, injuries were keeping him down. Last season he was loaned out to Zenit St. Petersburg. The Russian league is not in FIFA, so we lost Maximilian Philippe on another league. This season he returned, but too late. He went to Wolfsburg, a pretty big club in the Bundesliga, but EA forgot to add him. So fix it, please, ASAP. Xavi Simons is 17 years old, already made his debut for Paris Saint-Germain and for the Dutch national team, we might not have to wait too much longer. Xavi Simons Simons was born in the Netherlands, was raised in Spain, his dad was a professional football player in the Netherlands and he has Ruth from Suriname, I believe, or Indonesia, plus, well, the Dutch Ruth. He wants to play for the Dutch national team, he made the switch last summer from Barcelona to Paris Saint-Germain and in the career mode, Xavi Simons is just a living legend. In Ultimate Team, he is missing so far, but why not give the man a 65 rated card with one informed card, you never know how it will happen he can go up or he'll be a beautiful player for Carnival, for the Summer Heat, etc. You can make him one of the best midfielders in the world, Ruth Gullet and Xavi Simons. Give a thumbs up if you will love that. For many, many years, Nagatomo was one of the best left backs to get in either the Italian League or also in the Turkish Super League. The man played in his prime for Inter Milan, was great to have in FIFA 12, 13 and 14. After that, he went down step by step. From Galatasaray, he made the switch to Olympia. Marseille and I am not quite sure why they lost him. A lot of players that left the Turkish Super League were gone in Ultimate Team because Nagatomo was never a free agent. So why is he not in the game? Nobody actually knows. You just have to love Ricardo Koresma. The five star skiller was a fan favorite for a very long time. Another player that left the Turkish Super League he went to Vitoria Guimaraes back to the Portuguese League. He became great in back in the day with FC Porto, but now he is not in the game. Once again, a player leaving the Turkish Super League, disappearing from the game. It seems a little bit like the Turkish Super League is the Bermuda Triangle for players disappearing from the game. But this outside of the foot skiller should be in the game. He is just so awesome. Branislav Ivanovic so far is not the best for West Bromwich LB. 
Bayern. They hoped to get a centre-back with experience to keep them in the Premier League. But in the end, it seems that Ivanovic might be too old at the moment and not quick enough to keep himself alive in the top Premier League. But still, the man is a living legend for Chelsea and for the Serbian team as well. So he deserves everything we can give him and that is at least a one to watch or a normal gold card. Biglia is a player that is going down from 82 to 77. A huge downgrade for the player with a history at AC Milan and Lazio Roma. He joined Fatih, something like that in the Turkish Super League. And once again, the Turkish Super League is here to make players disappear. The second goalkeeper besides Joe Hart is Adam. The former goalkeeper of Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, joined Sporting CP. He's doing a fantastic job. He could have got several team after week cards already, but he is not in the game. And yes, that is a big problem because the sporting fans want to see their beloved goalkeeper available in the ultimate team version. Do you remember Rigoni as a super sweaty OP player playing for Atalanta Bergamo and Zenit St. Petersburg? I think you do. He is now playing for Elche. His career isn't what he expected. He was a huge talent, but the move to Zenit killed off his career a little bit. But nonetheless, the 77 rated right midfield card, it looks like with one inform card, it can explode to one of the best right midfielders to use in the Spanish La Liga. So a big miss by EA, but something they have to make up in the winter. Give a thumbs up for Mario Gutze and his beautiful girlfriend, of course, as well. Anne Sophie, I believe it is. He is beautiful. Mario Gutze is the man that got the Germany their World Cup title against Argentina in 2014. He scored in the extra time, was almost finished going to a penalty shootout. But Mario Gutze, he controlled the ball on one foot and he finished it with the other one. And from then on, he was the hero. But he got a very severe injury virus inside his body. He's just survive that but it threw him back so much he was not capable of taking a team first team spot with the Bundesliga Giants Bayern and back to Dortmund was also not a big success but now at PSV Eindhoven Gatze is back scoring goals in the Eredivisie scoring goals in the European League Gatze is a man deservable of an inform and even team after we card so why not give him a one to watch card that can be upgraded Victor Ruiz he left Bejiktas yes guys one once again, a player leaving the Turkish Super League to be disappeared and he joined Real Betis Sevilla. Not a small team, not a small league, another low-rated player. So somewhere in the process, he was off the radar, but he should be restored as a nice high-rated central back in the Spanish La Liga. With his speed, he is not a fan favorite, but hey, give the guy some credit. Five-star skiller Hatem Ben Arfa, do you remember his OJ Senis, his carnival card he got in FIFA 19? If you do, give a thumbs up because the five-star skiller was unstoppable on the pitch. It reminds me of the old days of FIFA, when skillers were overpowered, when silver five-star skillers can destroy team after year, team after season teams with ease. Back in the day, Ben Alpha was a camp everybody desired. He was so good on that camp position, scoring goals, creating chances. Ben Alpha was the man everybody wanted to add to their team. Now he joins Girondi de Bordeaux, a good big team in the league. Uh, so this is the reason why Ben Alpha will be back in the game. One of the best strikers in the Saudi League last season was Giannini. He is now going to Trabzonspor. Well, he went to Trabzonspor. Once again, I can tell you the story about the Turkish Super League, disappearing players, etc. But we will focus on Giannini. He is a good striker. Imagine him with one in from card. He will go up to 81 rated. A plus 6 on everything will make him a super good substitution. And from people that love to build Turkish Super League squads, it is also a big plus and a good striker to add. Football fans Fans, United fans, I need you. Give a thumbs up on this video to make EAC they forgot about Edison Cavani and somehow they don't want to put him in the game. I would say it takes only one second. You can make a new team of the week player. You can make new rule breaker cards. Why not make one to watch Edison Cavani? 84 rated and with FIFA being very overpowered with crosses, his heading abilities in front of goal could be deadly even with teams that are playing in the highest division don't care about the speed you can fix that with a hunter card but in front of gold the man his headers his shooting will be super super deadly so shame yourself EA
aged by not putting Edison Cavani into the game and football fans, United fans, smash that like button until it sees blue, until we get 10,000 likes, I don't care, EA needs to see that Edison Cavani is missing and he should be the new player added as soon as possible. I hope you love the video and tell me your top 3 players you want to see in the game. Drop it in the comment section below, give a thumbs up on the video and subscribe and put on that notification bell. That is the most important thing to never ever miss a single thing. I hope to see you back on my channel tonight with a brand new video and as you know for me, keep it cool, keep it real and ciao for now. Maybe we'll fall.